Hello, Wayne Barron here for Dark Effects TV, here to bring you another exciting tutorial. This one is using After Effects CS4, and what we're going to be doing here today is we're going to be doing a sort of like a wipe on effects with text. And this right here is what we're going to be doing. Pretty cool, huh? This is text, and as you can tell in the background, fire. The fire come from uh, Video Copilot's uh, free uh, stock footage, and I will provide the link in the description below so that you can go there and get that. The uh, font is Metal Macabray, or can't really pronounce the last name, and uh, that font will be in the uh, um, the zip package uh, that will contain uh, this project. The only thing that's not going to be in this project is the um, the barn right here and the grass and everything. That right there goes to the Dark Effects logo and so that's not included. So anyway the rest of it will be included in the package so uh, that will be available for you down in the description. So let's get started. Uh, choose composition, new composition. We're going to have this at 612, uh, 320 by 240 would be okay. Click OK. And now, since uh, the tutorial was with dark effects, that's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to actually spell out each letter. So let's go ahead and get that done now. So D. And there we go. Now we got to get them all in order, <laughs> which this is far from it. So let's go ahead and get everything in order here. got our these right here easy to see that they are in order but the effects yep that's in order E C T we need to bring that down go ahead and get our selection tool here so let's try to get everything decently in order I reckon that looks okay. Let's try to move these over just a little bit so they're lined up. And bring that up there. That looks pretty good. Okay, now what we want to do is We don't want to start off right there at the beginning of it, so let's move each one of them. Just space them just a little bit, not too far apart. And 
there we go. Now select them all and hit your T and spring up in our opacity and then line our steps up here take it down to zero click on our stopwatch and then move up just a little bit about right up in there and then set it at 100 okay select them both hit F9 but can I hit F9 while I'm recording I'm gonna to have to fix that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click choose keyframe assistance and hit easy ease okay now select both of them well let's bring this a little bit further apart about like that select them both control C to copy and then let's click on this one and paste it and that'll put it about right up in there and then go to the next one paste and then bring this one to the beginning go to the next one and paste it in and continue on down the line till you get down to the last one this is just a faster way of doing it instead of um, repeating the same process over and over again throughout each and every one of them so you just always set your your bar right there and then paste them in go now we've got them all done so and if we do a quick RAM preview we see them slowly fading in pretty cool all right now the cool part is to bring in our air show explosion from uh, Andrew Kramer's uh, video copilot and so what we're going to do is we're going to drag in one for each one of our letters. So we drag this one in right below our letter. I'll tell you what, let's do something right quick. Let's select everything. Select everything. And there we go. Now we can work a lot better here. So drag one in for each one of the letters all the way down And there we go. Now what we want to do is go down here and click on toggle switches modes. We want to bring, bring open our track map. Tongue tied. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to, well, first let's, wait, we know what we're doing here. Put each one with the right one. You hit on the enter key and then you type in the letter K and then so forth on down the line. And now, um, this is the cool part, simple, easy part. You choose the alpha map which is going to automatically grab a hold of the letter right above 
each one of these um, QuickTime files. So you choose Alpha Map, then you go to the next one, the T, C, E, F, and then on up the line. Then our last one, and there we go. And now, <coughs> do a quick RAM preview. Pretty cool. Ah, love it. So now, <coughs> what we want to do here. This is a lot of stuff. So let's just get everything, select everything. Hit Control A or Command A on a Mac. Hit Layer and then Pre Compose. And oops, text, wipe. Okay. And there we go. Now we don't have so much of a mess. So now you can do all sorts of things for this one. So um, since I had the uh, my logo <coughs> for our company in our demonstration, what I want to do here is I'm going to uh, add in one of our um, um, just the barn effect, and that right there I will add in to the uh, the zip package that will be available in the link below. So uh, give me a second while I find that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I uh, forgot that I had it inside my palette over here. It was inside of my original folder. So what we're going to do is that we're going to use the barn here. And as you can see, it's already green screened out, green screened out, uh, keyed out, so forth. And so what we're going to do now is um, let's bring it down to size about like that should be fine. And now let's let's. Uh, Key this joker out here. Let's try it again. And now we will do this one. And there we go. So now what we're going to do here, oops, let's get over here inside of comp2, is drag this onto here, and get a little bit smaller. Let's uh, go into effects, color correction, levels. And let's darken it a little bit so that it's not on uh, wrong way. Let's get a little bit darker. Okay, there you go. Now we can open this up a little bit more. Okay, now what we want to do is take our fire and place it underneath it. Fire is right big, so let's make it small here. want to 
make sure that the fire is not going to come out the top like that. That's what we want to stop. There we go. So let's do a quick RAM preview. And there you go, the Dark Effects Fire Burning Barn thing. Uh, yes, very sweet, very sweet. Love that. Got the fire burning right there still, and there, as well as right there. Then it starts to go out. That is so cool. Really makes you feel good whenever you're doing these tutorials, and they actually turn out better than they did in the demo. So, uh, hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and um, uh, subscribe, and I look forward to doing some more really soon. So. Y'all have a rocking week. Uh, son's last day of school was today, so getting ready to show him some Photoshop stuff. So maybe one of these days he can help me do some tutors as well. So this is Wayne Barron for Dark Effects TV. Y'all have a rocking week. Thank you.